Here is a short three-layer lino cut demo with special thanks to the dude, J. Eric Matthew. We're going to start with a square block. Here's our gray block and we're going to begin carving. We're going to remove all of the negative space in the block, leaving only that which we want to print. We roll up our block in yellow ink and you'll note that the image is flipped and this is what we have. Let's have a look at the block again as we begin to reduce it. The first two layers of this piece are reductive. So you can see that some of the information from layer number one has been left behind and some has been removed. And if we test print it in this blue color on its own on white paper, this is what we have. Let's see what it looks like when we print layer number one first, when we would have to print many of them and then reduce our block, carve away some of layer number one and print it in blue over top as layer two. Now let's begin work on layer number three, which is a separate block altogether. So starting with our fresh block, we carve away, in this case, a lot of the block, leaving only a fairly small amount. When we print this in red ink, we get this. And because we're going to be adding this to the first two layers, we refer to this as an additive block. So let's recap, here is layer one printed. We print layer number two over top and you can quite clearly see what was carved away and what was left behind. And then our third block all together printed in red over top and aligned and here's our finished piece. It's worth noting that while we have combined a reductive and an additive process to making this three layer print, it's entirely possible to make a completely reductive print with many more layers than two, you could reduce the block over and over and over again, creating a depth and richness that's not really possible with an additive process alone. And by the same token, lino block and other relief prints can be made additively using many blocks without a reductive element as well. But having both of these processes in your back pocket means the sky's the limit.